How's it going everybody? It's Onyx, back at it again with another video. Today, we are going to be ranking the short kings of Blue Lock. Now, I'm sure that by the time this video goes up, it's gonna be at least two months since I've uploaded. I just wanna say, I'm healthy guys. I'm not sick anymore. Big woohoo for that one. But the reason why I haven't been uploading will be explained in a later video that I plan on uploading within the week, hopefully. But just know, I've just been busy with like having an actual job to get money for school. Uh, my summer course that I've been taking, uh, getting a passport. I'll explain it all in the other video, but all you gotta know is I'm healthy and I wanna make videos. So let's get back into it. <laughs> but anyways, the first short king we are going to be ranking on this short king tier list, or blue lock. Batura. Uh, so Batura, I feel like it's important to mention how tall each of these people are, you know, because it's a short king tier list. Batura is 5'9", or 176 centimeters. And you know what? I feel like Batura is a wonderful short king. You usually don't see taller footballers, like, be the person that dribbles as good as Batura does. Like, normally those people are a lot shorter, like Messi, who's 5'7", but Batura's 5'9". I think just for that, and also just how cool Batra is, and just like how good he is at the sport, I think we have to put him at S tier. Like, come on, who, who, who are we kidding here? But speaking of players you think you would be shorter, next we have Hiorio. When, when you look at Hiorio, how tall do you think he is? 5'6", five, 5'7", five, maybe? Well, I'll tell you right now, when I looked this up, I was shocked, because Hiorio isn't 5'7". Hiorio isn't 5'8". Hiorio isn't even 5'9". The dude is six feet tall. Six feet. He's like as tall as Rip. He's taller than Asagi. What? Yuri to me is like the meme of if you're under 5'8", you have to like become a femboy or like a mighty like gnome dwarf. Who the fuck in the right mind made him six foot? Like I get it. His mom and his dad are like fucking superstar athletes, but he just doesn't give six foot energy. He gives like five, six, five, seven little petite boy energy. Now I just feel lied to because the guy who's radiating short king energy isn't even a short king easier because it's the same color as his hair. Next up, we got everybody's favorite washed up player who can no longer feed his family of like 80 billion, Naruhaya. So Naruhaya is officially listed at 5'6 or 168 centimeters. And Naruhaya definitely isn't afraid of his height at all. His ability was like off the ball movement. He would literally get out of your sight using how short he was compared to other players and then just completely vanish from view and play in your blind spot. This is using your shortness to your advantage, but Naruhai is also kind of a lame nerd wimp. So I think middle of the road B tier is fine for him in between our other two characters that we've written so far. And yes, if I feel like there needs to be changes made at the end, I will go back and make those changes. Whatever, let's move on. You, you get the point. You've seen a tier list video before. Next up on the list, we have Nico Icky. I think that's how you pronounce this first name, I'm not sure. Uh, but Nico here is listed at 5'8", or 173 centimeters, which is another shocker, because I thought Nico was going to be like 5'6". You know what, I, I feel like Nico isn't a very good short king, you know, he tries to hide his face a lot, he's very shy, he's... I feel like that Nico thinks, if he was like 6'2", like Ryu was, that he would be like a lot more confident, um, like, as shy, I guess, or like, reserved. But like, dude, you don't need to be tall to be that. I feel like Nico's just two in his head, which is why he's also like, really good at analyzing the field and has like, meta vision. Uh, so for that, we're gonna give him a C for, uh, you know what, we'll give him a B for Bullcat for now. Maybe we'll go back and bump him that later. Next up, we have someone who is actually on the shorter side which is very surprising because all these guys are freakishly tall. Uh, we have Nishioka Hajime. I don't know why I'm saying that he's on the shorter side when uh, he has no confirmed height. Guys, I tried looking it up. I could not find it anywhere. But considering that he's called Aomori's Messi, I'm just going to use Messi's height as his height and Messi's 5'7". Or 170 centimeters. You're welcome. But yeah, I mean, we haven't seen him do anything but when you have the status of Messi, who is like arguably one of the best athletes alive right now and is also a world champion like a tier a tier like this is just basically Messi, Messi jr uh, another player whose height is not confirmed but i just get short king energy from them is uh pablo cabazos i believe his last name is he's one of the new five from like the the 5v5 match in between like the second and third selection uh, it was anime in the first season. If you haven't seen that part yet and you're watching this video, how the hell did you get here? Um, yeah, but Pablo also does not have a confirmed height, so I just gave him a height of 5'7", about 169 centimeters, because that's a funny number. Uh, I mean, Pablo, Pablo radiates the energy that I was talking about in the meme where it's like, if you're below 5'8", you have to be a femboy. Like, dude's literally known as, like, the freckled baby, and I think it's Argentina is his origin country, but, like, dude, you were literally just called like a boy and you're a professional athlete but he owns the title pretty well like dude doesn't give a fuck he smokes the, the fucking first clear team like you know what we'll, we'll throw him up in high b tier 
by the way, these these are in order. These are in order, just so you know. So, like, I do think that Naruhaya is a better short king than Nico, but I think Pablo is a better short king than Naruhaya. So, these are in order from left to right, yeah. Next up, we have Kiora Jin, someone who recently just got the spotlight getting the assist to Kaiser in the PXG versus Bastard match. Now, Kiora is listed at 5'5", 165 centimeters. He is the shortest guy on this list, even shorter than Corona. But not by much, but actually, actually, never mind. I'm looking at I'm looking at my numbers right now. Kiora, uh, Corona's got some centimeters and an inch on Kiora, so maybe I'm just speaking out of my ass. I don't know. Kiora just does whatever the fuck he wants. You know, he's just here to keep the balance, and I really respect that out of a short king because, like, I respect that out of anybody, to be honest. To be the guy that's like, I'm going to always root for the underdog and even the odds, like that's respectable as hell, dude. That's gonna go an A tier, right below Nishioka. Now, everybody's favorite shark boy in blue luck. We've got Corona, who I previously mentioned is 5'6 and 168 centimeters. Corona has been like the ultimate assist man for Isagi. I mean, I get it. He already was there in the Ubers match and he did fuck, fuck all in PXG, but like, dude, Planetary Hotline cannot get out of my head. That is one of the coolest fucking panels in this manga and this manga has a shit ton of cool panels i just love corona as a character too like he doesn't serve a very important role like i think yori is more important to the plot than corona is but we just met corona in this arc like he didn't have really any screen time and he was fourth to clear like the 100 goals thing because it was top three it was rin are you and tokimitsu and then corona's fourth and we didn't see him at all not even in the three v not even the five v fives to determine like who would play in the like u20 match we only saw him once we got to bastard and then he started like playing during the england match and he's had such an impact and he's a great support for asagi i'm gonna give corona high b tier i'm gonna move pablo behind ah eh, you know what no a tier a tier for corona maybe i'll go back and fix that at the end but i like where this is at right now next up we've got igaguri coming in at 5'8, 172 centimeters igaguri's like motto is like never giving up and that's like something he lives by and it's just like he doesn't let his height get in the way of him not being like a good athlete in general not even like a great athlete igor is like a mid ass athlete he's been mid as fuck since he got introduced but he doesn't let his height like deter him from not being better but also he's 5 8 so it's like how much of a short king is he if he's 5 8 like i think the average height in japan is like 5 7 so in terms of like japanese people which is where this takes place he's above average height you know but i think we'll put eager c tier for now short kings we got Henri, five foot two 157 centimeters yeah no Henri is going behind Bajira for S tier. I don't think Blue Lock would function properly if we didn't have Henri. Like, Ego is just there to be, like, the brain of it all. But, like, Henri is the brawn. She does, like, all... She does all the behind-the-scenes work. Like, Ego gets showered in rewards and flowers and accolades because, oh, he's the genius that came up with it. Dude, if Henri wasn't there, one, Ego would die from, like, just starvation or dehydration because... God knows he can't fucking fend for himself. And then you wouldn't have anybody like you do all the hard shit that no one else can do. Like Henri was the one who like scouted a majority of the players for the program, if I'm not mistaken, based on like episode Nagi stuff. But like, dude, Henri's the goat. You, like she's five two, dude. Like everybody else on this list is like on average five seven, five eight. Like, cause again, this is a short king tier list. You also have to factor in their height into each ranking. But going back to someone else who I swear to God should be a lot shorter. It feels a lot shorter in my head. Uh, we've got Charles, who is 5'9", 174 centimeters. This dude is described as like a little tiny menace child. I think he's 15 or like 14 or something ridiculous like that. He's like the, the youngest player we've seen so far. Maybe besides Nico, I think Charles is a little bit younger though. But he's 5'9", and he's described as an imp. Dude, when, in like two, three years, when he's like pretty much an adult, he's going to be fucking six feet, six feet one, dude. Like this guy's going to be 180 centimeters easily. And you're describing him as an imp right now? I mean, maybe right now because he's on the shorter side. But Charles is like my height dude and we're calling him an imp what the fuck does that make me i got like half an inch on him also charles doesn't do good for the short king name because one he's described as an imp and he's made out to be a lot shorter but then he just acts like a brat most of the time and he's not even a real short king he's like five nine that like that's like average height in america above average height in japan like he's slandering the name without even being a part of the group like that's a fucking f tier short king if i've ever seen it again someone who sh feels like they should be a bit shorter in my head and also somebody I couldn't find a canonical height for, uh, Nanase, who I just put down as 5'9", 176. Um, spoiler alert, Isagi is 5'9", 175. And I feel like just looking at manga panels where the two are together, they're pretty similar in height. I feel like Nanase would be just a bit taller than Isagi, though. So I gave him the extra centimeter. Working tier list. I mean, he's naturally ambidextrous, but like, 
on that is literally meant to be like the average show character. So I think we're gonna throw in D for dexterity. Next up, we got MC Asagi. Uh, if you didn't hear me say it the first time, he's 5'9", 175. He's the pro tag. He adapts to everything. Like, bro does not give up. Bro's got a massive ego. I think Asagi goes low A tier in terms of short kick. Cause he's five, mm, top of B tier, he's 5'9". That's not, that's not real short kick material, you know? But yeah, I'm looking at my list right now. I don't know if I want to change anything. You know what, I think I'm going to move Nishioka to the end. I think I'm giving him too much messy credit because these dudes are both shorter than him and they do a lot more in the series. I think I'll put Corona up above Kiora. We'll put Pablo above Isagi because he's, sh I mean, head cannon wise, he's shorter and a better player, so. You know? Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for the tier list. If you guys wanna see me do a Tall Kings tier list, maybe, uh, let me know in the comments down below. But in the meantime, I've been Onyx. It's great to be back. Cough in your elbow, and have a fantastic day.